You've been so busy. And I, just like that, yeah. the morning show, brilliant performances. How does it feel? Because I know you feel in some ways as if the world just discovered you. I read somewhere you said, now I walked out the door and suddenly everyone knows me. That's right. It was, it was uh, you know, I think we all spent a lot of time indoors yeah. during the pandemic. Um, and we all just caught up on all the shows, and I happened to be on a lot of them. The Americans people caught yes. up on the Yellowstone people caught up yes. on the morning show, and and then of course after we came out of the pandemic, I did um, and just like that. So you were was, on like the most watched and talked about show. Yeah, yeah, and very much ensemble shows. So you yeah. had a real opportunity to get involved with the story, but also with the characters. And I think that that was the kind of shows that people loved during the pandemic, you know? They loved the Duttons and the soapy, yeah. you know, Montana of it all. So when I came out of the pandemic and I walked out into the world, they were like, oh, 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 you've been in my house for the last like 10, nine months or whatever. Is and it still surreal when people know you as a character from each of those shows? Because we're up to like five. No, I love it. You I love, really love it. I love that you said that. I love it. Okay, here's a real Tamron Hall moment. When people ask me, do you ever get tired of people saying hi? I said, if a celebrity or anyone who does work on TV walks in a room and no one knows you, your heart is broken. Yes, I <laughs> enjoy. I, I'm like, interrupt me, say hello, because that means you appreciate what yeah. I'm doing. I agree. And I think you should enjoy yeah. it and savor it. Yeah. And you know, so many people make sacrifices for me to do this. It has to be something I love. And so I, uh, I agree with you. Yeah, it's all good. I, I, I love it. It's unthinkably good. That's yeah. what it is. Because you want it your whole life and you get it and you're savoring it. All your life. All your life. This yeah. is what you study to do. Yeah. This is your dream and it's coming true. Oh, so it's great. I love it. Okay, we have to talk about this dream um, that you filmed, my dream anyway, oh. this Tuscan sun and light. When we come back, we're gonna get the scoop on the new movie as well as season two of And Just Like That. <laughs> is Karen returning? We've got so many questions <laughs> after the break. to watch party earlier we got an exclusive look at the new hallmark movie unthinkably good things and we're joined by the star karen pittman this was shot on location in italy yeah i mean i know it's work but <laughs> come on it was amazing oh look at you i don't know who had more fun you or your character allison it was hard work tamara <laughs> It was very, very hard to do. That's given me like Carmen vibes. It's very, you know, that the name of that uh, caption on my Instagram is looking for my Mark Antony because oh, it was, wow. listen, um, <laughs> it was great. I was Rome. I was love food. this story. So this is the first film under the mahogany banner for Hallmark. But what I love again, just as I said to Eva Longoria and Zoe, Anybody can escape and enjoy the life of the character and everything she's experiencing. There's a little bit of all of us in her. Yeah, I think so. And also one of the things that I think is so important about doing the movie when they asked me to do it and I read the script was that, um, especially for African-American women to know there is love all around the world. Yeah. You can explore love in so many different ways and not just in your church or in your community, but. Uh, all over the world, there's love out there for us as women. We don't have to just stay in one spot for it. Um, and the kinds of love that we explore is friendship love yeah. and romantic love and love of wine and culture. Well, I'll and tell you, I, I felt like it was a perfect blend of waiting to exhale meets under the Tuscan sun. Yeah. It just gave me, again, that, that wonderlust of, first of all, wanting to travel, but yeah. also seeing yourself in this beautiful cast. And that cast is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's inspiring, and I feel like women will watch it and aspire to what these women. Oh, I have know done they too. will watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's just beautiful. Yeah, and just like that, they just announced renewal for second season. Yeah, are you? There you are. Yeah. Are you returning? I am. Are you My cup overfloweth. Can I say that? It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm coming back. And I'm talking to Michael Patrick King about what's going to happen. It's percolating. Lots of yeah. stuff. Is she going to stay married? Is she going to do another? Oh, no. Is that, that a possibility? Is it, hey, listen. Nobody knows. It could be anything. Oh, my God. OK. It could be anything. Because we, we, we fell in love with Naya with her journey 
along the fertility road as yeah. I've been open with my, my life about yeah. to see that character was important yeah. and an important element to the series. People talk about a lot of other things, but <laughs> nevertheless, the character and her husband and her arc as it relates to motherhood, I thought was beautifully done. Well, what I've had the chance to do in my career and I feel so lucky is to inhabit these women, these African-American women who are highly ambitious, who are articulating themselves out in the world, but are still trying to put together what it looks like to have it all. And I think we are the generation of women who are trying to figure that out. You know, our moms made sacrifices so we could go out into the world and see ourselves. And now we're out here and we're like, oh, oh, wait a minute, I'm missing a couple of things, you know? Yeah. And so that's my character on And Just Like That. That's Alice and Cooper yeah. in Unthinkably Good Things and, um, and and Mia on The Morning Show. It's It's been a great, great journey for me as an actor to, to do that. Wow. Well, you've given us characters that we love, and now this movie is phenomenal. It is a must-see for must the summer. Must Congratulations. I know it's earned and deserved, and I'm so happy for you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Unthinkably Good Things airs on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries later this summer. Check your local listings. Don't miss it.